I have here for you is Sony Xperia T2 Ultra. Now this device comes in the phablet division and I should tell you that it's a huge device. I'll be showing it to you later in the show and it is it has a 6 inch display and what what is interesting is that even though it's huge it is actually thin and light. segment we have the Sony Xperia T2 Ultra. Talking about the exteriors, the phone is fully plastic with the side rims trying to imitate metal with limited success. The back cover of this phone is not removable implying that the battery is fixed and uh, we cannot remove the battery as well. So another feature of this phone is the fact that it comes in two versions. One is the single SIM version and the other one is the dual SIM version. The 6 inch screen comes with a 720p resolution which could be a disappointment to some. This phone comes with an 8 GB internal memory capacity, 1 GB RAM and the memory can actually be expanded up to 32 GB. Talking about the processor details, it, it is a quad core processor that is 1 GHz Snapdragon 400 quad core processor. The tablet comes with both primary and secondary cameras, that is the front camera and the back camera. The back camera is a huge 13MP camera while the front camera is a 1.1 megapixel camera which is pretty comfortable for you to take your selfies. Okay, so the camera comes with an LED flash and a number of features including geotagging, image stabilization, face detection and wide sweep panorama. At 172 grams, this huge phablet is actually light as well as thin, which is great. I forgot to mention to you about the operating system. Well, it is Android Jelly Bean V4.3 system and they are planning to upgrade it to um, the 4.2.2 version. Sony Xperia T2 Ultra phablet comes with micro SIM slots. About the sound specifications, it has a pretty good loudspeaker system as well as a 3.5 mm jack for your headsets. Time for me to summarize the pros and cons of this phone. Well, the pros definitely include the fact that it has a 6 inch display and it is light which is 172 grams as well as thin so it's a sleek phone. Another pro would definitely be the fact that it is a quad core processor which is a snapdragon 400 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor. Talking about the downsides of this phablet, now there are three major points I'd like to highlight. Firstly, the fact that the 6 inch display resolution is just 720p. Another thing is the operating system is not the latest version. Third major point I'd like to highlight is the fact that the screen is highly reflective and in bright light it is very difficult to see the screen except in certain angles. <laughs> of this huge phablet would be 25,995 rupees. Time for the final verdict on the Sony Xperia T2 Ultra phablet. Well, this is definitely a pretty good buy at this price. It's time to 
wind up this episode of Gadget World. I hope you all enjoyed all the three devices we shared here with you. Next week, we'll be back with three more brand new devices. So do tune in to Gadget World.